Hey, what's going on guys? It's CH from Village Park Source. Just to say that uh, congratulations for those who made it to this 40th video. Great job, way to be resourceful and track this information down online. Good luck and I'll see you guys at the end. All right, legends, welcome back. So in the last video, we talked about frames versus keyframes. Now this video, let's get into it. Now keep in mind, remember from last video, a keyframe is just a location on our timeline that is either a beginning or an end of a transition. This is where we're gonna deal with our animations. So I've got a background right here. You don't need this. Uh, I've got a PNG. Remember we talked about JPEGs versus PNG in the previous video. All I'm gonna do for the sake of this tutorial is I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna transform it a lot smaller. I'm gonna put it in a bottom left corner and I'm gonna drag it to the top right corner in about five seconds. So it's gonna be pretty slow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, first things first, let's go ahead and transform this and you can move it around. Uh, I call this a WYSIWYG editor. Uh, what you see is what you get. You can go over here if you wanna go work super hard about it. You can scroll up and scroll down on your X and Y, but as you can see, I'm moving this around and this is just a lot more efficient and a lot less hard, hard work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right here. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a keyframe. Now there's two ways of doing it. You can go ahead and add a keyframe right over here to your X and Y axis, or you can add it up here. I like doing it up here better because I like having the previous and the forward uh, keyframes with it so I can scroll back and I can see it in a, in a linear motion, which keyframes you did first, because you could have this image go round and round and round in a circle and it could be like 45 keyframes. All I'm gonna do is drag this to the top right and I wanna do it in five seconds. So right now, check it out, we're at 22 seconds. So I wanna bring it up to 27 and we're at, uh, from the last video, we figured out that we are at 29 frames per second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on this and I'm gonna click keyframe right here. That's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this to 27. Well, how about 25? Now we'll go to 27. Let me make this a little bit bigger. We said 27. Let's go to 27. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag it and place it wherever you want it. You can, each, you can actually even place now, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna drag it and place it wherever you wanna place it. I can actually put it off the screen if you wanna fly something out really fast. And that's kind of the gist. So from 22 to 27, this is gonna go from there and you can see this red line right here, that's like your path or your route. And uh, that's it, we just successfully created a keyframe in Final Cut Pro and this uh, keyframe helped us move an image. And I'm gonna go ahead and click play just like that and keep adding keyframes. I'll make this image longer and we can just keep going ahead and playing around with them. So this ended right here. Let's click on this. Now let's say we wanna add, add another keyframe. No, I wanna click keyframe. Now let's move this forward. Let's go to, when did it stop moving? Right there, okay. Keyframe, move it down here. Let's move this a little bit forward keyframe let's move this over here let's move this a little bit forward keyframe let's move this over here and let's get it out of the screen for our last keyframe how about that so we'll go to right here and let's get this all the way out of here just like that so that's the gist that's kind of how that's kind of like a 10 second elevator speech on how to move an image around in final cut pro using keyframes look at this it's gonna be all funky. And get out of here. That's the gist. We have questions to answer, uh, but keep in mind, yeah, the longer you have, and this is like, if I were to really do, spend a lot of time doing keyframes, key I would zoom in on this big time and get really nitty gritty on what keyframes I wanted to do right here, 24. I'm actually breaking these up in actual frames. Here's our 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and it's gonna start over at zero. Just like that. So that's the gist. Hopefully this made sense. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video. I wanna talk about a lot more effects that deal with keyframing. I wanna talk about fading out. I wanna talk about a lot more motion and animation. Hopefully this made sense. You guys are all legends. I'll see you in the next video.